It's Thursday. It's 7.30. Means you validate CISD in the house. Hey, All right. Good morning. Good morning, Dr. Hal Harrell. How are you, sir? Hey, I'm doing very well. Good morning. All Great right, to see right. you this morning. Yeah, so uh, we got a big group here today. We do. we got right. lots going on. Okay. It, it's springtime. That's know, right. Springtime yeah. it, uh, in the district, there's always things going on and kids doing exceptional things, and we just want to recognize that and promote them and uh, give them a chance to hey, be well, let here. Hey, let me start off with a shout-out to the Morales Junior High Choir, who is probably on the bus right now heading to San Antonio. Yes. Because my daughter had to get all, I had to get her to school early this morning uh, for a UIL competition, good, apparently. Good. So Did you give her some lemon water or something to clear uh, her throat? You, you know what? She, she was all last couple of days, she was like, I cannot have sweets, I cannot have dairy, I cannot do this, I cannot do that. She's like, Dad, you should really do that. You would talk better on the radio. I'm like, yep. okay. okay. All right. yeah. Thank you. I, I think you do well anyway. No, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah. Shout out to the Junior High Choir. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Safe trip. And yeah. uh, so, what else? What, what we got going on here? Hey, a couple of things I want to bring up first before we bring our guest up. Uh, seniors, seniors who are receiving your acceptance letter to college, bring those in. Contact Yvette Fettis at the central office. Get your picture taken. Uh, once you get your picture taken, that's your entry into the drawing for the school. Uh, superintendent scholarship. That's awesome. Yeah. Right. So, well, that the deadline is April. And that's you. Yeah, it is. The super superintendent. Yeah. You know, I had to tell my wife. So this is kind of <laughs> letting her know that we're going to support somebody <laughs> and uh, give a thousand dollar scholarship to somebody. That's very and, cool. Uh, on, on their next venture. Their so next once you get that acceptance letter, you, you go to the office, get a photo, you'll post it up on the Facebook page and, and the website, yeah, right? Yeah. And most recently, uh, I think this week, we've had William Cruz who. Uh, He's had his uh, acceptance to the University of Texas. We've had Celeste Quiroz to Johnson & Wales University, Sky Via Nueva to Texas A&M Corpus Christi, just to name a few. So they, they're coming in. So You always you handle those names in. so well, I couldn't even do that. So. Yeah, well, I'll try. I try. <laughs> I just want to give you credit. Yeah, well, do. thanks. thanks. Uh, okay, so anything else, sir? One other thing I want to bring up before the guest. Uh, we've got a young lady in the district, who Brittany Ramon, who has perfect attendance, not just at high school, not just since junior high, but since pre-K. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. She has not missed a day of school since pre-K. So uh, I just wanted to give her a big shout-out. There will be a presentation. I think KSAT 12 is doing a story uh, as well. So, yeah. That's, that's pretty, fantastic. Pretty cool. Pretty yeah, cool. You need to give her, like, a Lifetime Achievement Award. Oh, and I think the state's <laughs> sending something. So at, at the governor's office is actually sending something. That's very cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Is. Congratulations. Yeah. You know, and that's an example, y'all. Be, be like her. Be like her. <laughs> Be like parents, her. Uh, Brittany's parents, thank you, and thank you for getting her up for every morning. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Very cool. So first guest, I want to bring Vanessa Briones up, and she's going to introduce our uh, state finalists, or qualifiers, I should say. I think that's the right term. Correct. And she'll be introducing them, and they'll step up and say a few things, whatever you want them to do. All right, Ms. Vanessa, so so what department are we here? We are here from the Cosmetology at Southwest Texas Junior College Dual Credit Program. Ooh, okay, so basically that's like hair, makeup. Yes, consists of hair, skin, and nails. They have had the program since 2002. Our dual high school teacher, Ms. Hammer, has had the program since 2003. Now, you're with the program as well. Yes, right? I'm the Because um, I was going to say, you look fabulous. <laughs> I mean, it's like 730 in the morning, and you look good. So, yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Not that anybody else does it. <laughs> it's radio. Uh, so, uh, so, yeah. Um, our students have competed in this, um, Skills USA. It's a technical vocational contest for all programs throughout the Texas. Um, our high school students have compete at the district level, and we have Lana and Alexis that both place first and second. And their next competition will be state level, and that will be next week, Thursday through Sunday. Wow. Well, y'all, yes. y'all come on over here, guys. All right, so so what exactly did this competition, this thing entail? What, what did you guys have to do? Well, we had to do haircuts. We had to do a men's haircut. We had to do take a test. Oral. We have to do an oral for state. Uh huh. We did how many girls? They're all we timed did. haircuts that they have to do as far as their oral. They timed you on the haircuts? Yeah. Like, get it done. Yes. Quick, quick. So now, that's a lot of pressure, right? I mean, to, to do it, to do it right, to do it quickly. Oh, interesting. All right. Mm-hmm. So what can you do with this mess I got here, this mop going on? What would y'all do? Um, probably give you a haircut. <laughs> you, you'd be like, brush it first of all, dude. <laughs> But, uh, okay, so so now what, do you guys have, like, um, 
y'all are young, so maybe this isn't. Do you have like specialties? You think things you're specializing in? Do maybe some of you guys go more towards the hair, towards the makeup, uh, or is it like the whole program as you're soaking it all in? I go more towards the hair. The hair. Okay, your hair looks fabulous too, by the way. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> very nice. I wish I could. I wish I could get mine looking like that in the morning. And for those for those that are confused, I have long hair. Okay, guys. <laughs> all right, so. And uh, so. So how did it go? How was the competition? How many people did you compete against? Were you nervous? Give me the experience there. It was actually just us two and one other girl. Okay. And it was pretty stressful. Get a little closer to the mic if you don't mind. Yeah. It was it was stressful. Go ahead. It was pretty stressful because it was our first time competing and it was a challenge, but we made it through. <laughs> okay. So now now what what's next and how are you preparing for that? Well, we actually have to do an oral this time. Mm -hmm. So we have to practice a lot on that. So speaking yes. and making a little bit of a speech. Now, well, well, give, give me a sample. Give me an example, if you don't mind. What, what you working on? They're going to be competing in Corpus Christi. Oh, okay. Um, they leave Thursday, and this, um, th since they competed in district they won, they're going to be going on to state. And there's about 15 different districts in our area, and each district takes a first and second place winner. So state level, they're competing about between 30 and 32 students. Some wow. districts have different chapters, so they have multiple. That's the reason for the increase. Well, very good. All right. Well, congratulations, young ladies. That's pretty. That's pretty fantastic. Excellent. Right. So, whenever you guys, you know, graduate or whatever, you guys are gonna do something with this mess. All right. I'm gonna go <laughs> okay. see you guys. You guys are the best. Right. Well, congratulations. And any, anything else you guys need to mention on the uh, cosmetology program? So, if you're uh, winning state, where do you go? Nationals. And we go to Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah. 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 Wow. Okay. And if you win in Louisville, Kentucky, where do you go? They will be asked to be on the world team, and this year the world team for Skills USA is competing in August in Kazan, Russia. There is a world team, and it's in Russia. Yes. That's awesome. Wow, that'd be a lot of traveling. That's crazy. I thought, I thought that was pretty well, cool. good luck. Yeah, cool. bring me back. Well, you got you. You can't bring me back any vodka. You can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, congratulations again, guys. That's that's really cool. And um, where can uh, potential participants get more information about the cosmetology program? Like, say, you got a parent out there listening wants to get their kid involved. Um, yes, you can definitely get more information with the CTE coordinator, and I should have her name, um, Carol Brew, and she will help you get any information. The high school program is a four-year program. You do not get a certificate because it's a dual program, but you do finish at the college if you just decide to pursue your career. Very good. All right. Well, it sounds like a really cool program, and congratulations and best of luck to, you know, all the, the, the future competitions. Sounds like you guys got your work cut out for you. Very good. All right. Thank well, you. we're going to take a little quick break here, guys, and uh, come back, and we're going to talk to you. we got another group up here, right? Another group. The Lobo, soccer. Lobo soccer team. The soccer team, right? So stick around. This is 104.9 with the Valley CISC Coyote Country. I'm Robert McGill. Hey, good morning. The time is 740, overcast, 63 degrees. Today, looking at mostly cloudy, high 81. And then tonight, mostly cloudy. Low is going to be around 61. And that report is brought to you by Los Alamos Restaurant, 1105 West Main Street, where you'll always get homemade corn and flour tortillas from scratch. Gift certificates are available. They're open Monday through Saturday, 6 to 3. That's Los Alamos Restaurant. And you've already seen IC still now. Still here. Still here. Yep. Dr. Hal Harrell, what do we got next? What's on tap? We, we've got some members of our Lobo soccer team and our soccer coach. Uh, tomorrow night, Uvalde's Lobo soccer team will be hosting the first playoff game against Alamo Heights. The playoffs. The playoffs ooh, are ooh, here. Ooh, ooh. All right. Coach Fimbleton, well, come, come on, on over. Here, coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's introduce your You're looking fly in your Adidas, man. It's Thanks, like Run sir. DMC video up in here, man. You don't even know Run DMC. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know. Yeah, I don't even know. Those ones are laughing. I'm going to say this. It's tricky to rock a rhyme to rock a rhyme that's right on time. It's it tricky. tricky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Coach, uh, what's, what's going on with, with the big team here? Uh, well, we've finished district play, uh, finished in the fourth spot in our district, and girls earned themselves a playoff berth. And so, so cool. you got to we'll be stoked, be, right? We are, very much. And we're hosting Alamo Heights tomorrow night. Uh, kickoff will be 730 for that game at our home field. And really, really would like to see as many community members out there as we can supporting these girls because they have worked really, really hard this year to put themselves in a good position. Well, obviously, congratulations to, to, the, to the ladies. But congratulations to you. Obviously, you're the leader. The, you spearhead this team. So what is, uh, what's your secret? How did you get them to, to perform so well? Asked them. <laughs> right. <laughs> they're, 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 they're competitors. Oh, right. Very good. And it doesn't take a whole lot of pushing them in any certain direction. Uh, 
just give them give them an objective and a game plan and they execute. I so mean, they've got the skills. You just give them the direction do. and just make it. You know, oh, very good. Well, uh, so so the game, uh, the playoffs. What, what's uh, how, how long do the playoffs go? What's what's the process there? Uh, playoffs goes as you can say. I'm not so physical. So. Well, no, no, <laughs> nor am I. <laughs> uh, playoffs go until about the third week in April. That's when the state tournament happens in Georgetown every year. Um, Essentially, seven rounds of playoffs get you to the state tournament. Wow! All right. Well, good luck to to that. It's very cool. Now, who, who are who are the young ladies we got here? What uh, Yes, sir. We have Priscilla Cardoza, senior and team captain. We have uh, oh, captain, Sh- my captain. <laughs> <laughs> Shelby Colvin, sophomore. Uh, she's a forward on the team who's not playing at the moment because she was injured earlier in the season. And then we have Giselle Rivera, who is also a senior and team captain. Okay, well, let me get the seniors up here real quick, guys. So y'all are the seniors. Well, you're, the, you're the team captain. What's the experience been like, um, you know, with Lobo soccer here, your high school? I mean, this is your last year of high school, right? Yes, it's got, you got to be excited, a little, little kind of little sad yes. part of you too, right? Yes. Um, so, yeah, give, give us a senior experience. Um, well, you're going to miss it. I mean, all the four years you've been playing on that field, um, having fun, doing what like well, what you like best, you know? And I didn't mean to make you sad. <laughs> Seriously, I think I'm gonna cry too. Oh my gosh. I'm, think, I'm thinking about my homecoming now. <laughs> no, uh, but but it's like a Bon Jovi song. <laughs> Never say goodbye. Okay, so um but yeah it's it's your high school year. So what are you are you planning to do any kind of uh, soccer sports after after graduation? No, I'm not. You're like no mm, not not really. Much. It's fun right now, yeah. but how about you? No, I'm not any no? either. You're like my knees, they hurt. <laughs> so what what are your plans? You guys uh gonna pursue more education? You gonna yes. chill here? You okay you guys got scholarships, got plans for college yet? Um I'm gonna attend UT. All right. And I'm just planning on like focusing on my education. Very nice. And then I'll be going here studying for nursing. Okay, very good. Well, we got plenty. We need nurses. We got plenty. Of, it's, it's a good thing to get into in New Valley. So, uh, well, congratulations, first of all, on being seniors and, and for finish, finishing out good and getting the playoffs now. How about this young lady back here who's injured? We got to get you on up here, okay? So, okay. so you're not playing in the playoffs, obviously, right? No. So, uh, give us a story. What happened? Well, I was playing soccer game. It was like the last game of the first round. We were playing Southside, and Chell passed me the ball, and I was running up the line, and one of their defenders slide tackles me from behind. And, like, she hits my left ankle, and so my right ankle slides forward and dislocates. Oh. And then I shattered my fibula in three places. What? <laughs> and then so... And she's smiling about it. She's like, oh, it was just Tuesday. It really wasn't fun. But No, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then we had to get surgery and everything, and so, yeah, we're just... On crutches. <laughs> Poor coach. He's like, I want players next year. Why are you bringing this up? <laughs> I think one of the key parts of this, she's not stating is her mom ran out there to help. What, what does your mom do? Um, well, I was kind of screaming. I was like, Mom, help me. And she grabs my ankle and just pops it back into place. Oh, <laughs> super mom, wow. So, so much better after. I mean, your, your mom is what? What vocation does your mom She's a veterinarian. <laughs> <laughs> There's a joke there, but I'm not going to tell it. So, uh, wow, that's that's what a fabulous story at your age. I mean, that's you've already lived, man. <laughs> that's very cool. So, yeah, congratulations to all you. Well, let's get back to you. So, how, how are you? Are you going to be able to recover and get back on the team and, yeah, and continue? Yeah, I should make a full, like, 100% recovery. And are you going to continue to pursue soccer? Yeah. Uh, is that you see yourself doing this longer term? Um, probably not after high school, but okay. if it happens, it happens. <laughs> yeah, well, it's I mean it's a competitive sport. It's, I'm sure. You, yeah, and that's the way that that sport is. You got to be very, very, very good, right, to really excel. I mean, yeah. on the national level in soccer. Not saying you guys don't have that potential, but uh, you know you got to be very, very serious about it. Well, coach, come on back over here and tell us more about the soccer program uh, for those parents and kids who would like to get their kids involved. Um, what do they do and what do they need to do? Uh, I mean, as far as the high school level is concerned, if any information that you really need, you can find on the uh, UCISD website on the mm-hmm. athletic page. Um, you know, freshmen are obviously encouraged to join the athletics uh, classes in order to really get them prepared for it. Uh, younger kids, uh, it's really nice to see them out playing youth soccer. Uh, Tree City Soccer does right. a really good job with our kids out here. 
and and really that's where it starts. So kids participating at a young age and and regularly. So by the time they get to you, they've already got a skill set that's right. kind of uh, yeah right. established. Exactly. Very good. Um, and uh, so, how about how often do you guys practice? Do you practice every day during class after school? How, what exactly is that regimen like for uh, you? Soccer specifically, uh, we start practices when we return from the Thanksgiving break uh-huh. because there's a scheduled period based on UIL rules um, and we're allowed eight hours a week and we break that up from week to week some days or some weeks we'll practice uh, two hours a day four days a week uh, for the preseason part of it and then once the season starts and we're playing every Tuesday and Friday then we're practicing about two hours a day for three days a week well obviously all that practice is uh, you know it's working out for you guys, so congratulations uh, on going to the, the playoffs. Very cool. Yeah, absolutely. Best of luck to you. I would say break a leg, but, you know. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, anything else, Dr. Hal Harrell, we need uh, to touch up on hey, here. Just a couple of things. Uh, just a quick uh, one. Give a little shout-out to KBOU 104.9 and IBC Bank. We yeah. had our last Scholars of the Month. This past w- or during this week, Millie Down- Downing at Dalton and Isais Rios at Batesville. Both kindergarten kids. They did an excellent job in their essays. And then, uh, not. I, I love that. Kindergarten kids writing essays. Yeah, absolutely. I can't even write an essay anymore. They, That's awesome. They pulled it off. Pulled I mean, it all off. I can say is essay. Yeah. And, uh, not this next week, but the week after, we've got some spring games and a torch run. So, uh, that ought to be fun. It's going down Getty Street up to the Honey Bowl. And that's, uh, going to be April the 9th. So, yeah, lots of good things going on. Just keep in tune. Turning, uh, Check out the Facebook page. That's right. Lots of good information there on Absolutely. all the campuses and, of course, your Monday message as well, too. Right. All right. Once again, you've to CISD, Dr. Hal Harrell, and the whole group. All right. Thank you. Yourselves. Now, y'all get to school. Don't be a fool. Get an education. It's 104.9 Coyote Country. Local news. Mario is coming up next. Right now, overcast 62 degrees. Today, mostly cloudy. High 81. Tonight, mostly cloudy. Low 61. I'll be back with more.